Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. All right, guys, on to the next. And uh, this guy, this guy comes from me. This is fight number 13. Um, this, I put this one together. A little friendly competition, in my opinion. Uh, I put the likes of, for the first time, Cora versus Calderon Aqualad from Young Justice. Yeah, so we got Cora versus Aqualad. Uh, like I said, first time for both characters so let's kick it off with the uh, Korra to me everybody should know this Korra is the successor of Aang uh, she was the next avatar uh, and she's she's a water tribe she's from the water tribe and I loved Korra's uh, bravado I loved her her, her, her her strength mentally and physically um, she's very confident about herself, you know, she knew what she can do, what she couldn't, but she kind of lacked a little bit of admitting that she couldn't do something sometimes, you know, sometimes we all, we can't always do anything, but, uh, she was able to air bend, she was, excuse me, she was able to, uh, she was able to water bend, of course, she was able to fire bend, and she was able to earth bend, she couldn't air bend for some reason, she couldn't do that, it was kind of the difference between Aang. Um, but she was very witty as always. She learned very well. You can see that a lot of the bending came just really natural to her. She was just really good at it. Um, uh, not too cocky, but you you see a smidge of a little bit of cockiness in her. But over time, that was humbled. She became really humbled, and all of that about the, her duties as the the avatar. Um. Korra definitely, um, to me, was a, a breath of fresh air in a sense. She, in a sense, showcasing that um, she, she's just a great character. Um, it never, I never felt like, you know, I, I, I wish I had Aang back or something like that. No, it was, it, it was always interested in seeing what Korra was going to do next. How good she was gonna get get better at her job as the av the avatar, and was she able gonna was she able gonna succeed to her duties as the avatar? And we got to see that kind of a little fast, but excuse me, but yeah, we she finally learned how to air bend, and she is now master of all the uh, the elements, and she is able to enter the avatar state and give people back their bending abilities but uh let's move on to her combatant in this and that is none other than calderam uh the um young justice version of aqualab um this is the same av um the same uh, aqualad that uh wiseman and uh ivan reyes created after uh, brightest day you know uh jack hyde jackson hyde um but they just changed a little bit difference a little bit of things to make him look a little different from his counter his comic counterpart at the time uh if you remember uh jackson hyde he had more of the corn rolls like the dreads uh instead of the like clean cut uh aqualad in young justice is one of my favorite characters i loved him very soft spoken but good leader he was just i truly truly enjoyed what he can do um pretty much he you know had all the basis of what you know atlantean you know was able to breathe on water and underwater you know he had like gill slits on the side of his neck he was also you know he also had hydrokinesis he is able to you know uh the ability to, like to increase the local uh, density of water and manipulating the shapes and stuff like that 
you know, similar to like what Mira and people like that could do, um, like make constructs. And he also was able to generate electricity. That that was really cool. Um, and he also had knowledge of like Atlantean sorcery. So that was, and a lot of things like that really played a factor into Aqua, this Aqualad. But he was really cool. I loved his character. Uh, and he, he was just a really good character, guys. So, in terms of a the battle breakdown. Now, first of all, if these two would ever meet, I don't see these two fighting right away. I don't see these two actually killing each other, even in a fight. I said it before, at the beginning of the vid, friendly competition, you know. I think Korra would be really impressed, first of all, of seeing someone like Calderon, like, wow, you're, you're really from a, a lost city, Atlantis, you know, you, you could breathe underwater and everything like that, wow, that that's, just seeing a lot of things that he could do with his, his powers would be really cool, and, I, and of course, Calderon would be so impressed at Korra, but then I think, in the back of Korra's mind, and maybe I was like, okay, you know what, I wonder who's better at their, you know, their abilities. So let's have a friendly competition, you know. Um, and that's where I see it. I, but I, I don't see them killing each other or just beating the crap out of each other just to beat them themselves up. I do see it more as just, you know, some friendly competition. Your know, core just to take on somebody, somebody like, you know, like she, she, like Calderon, somebody. It'd just be cool. But what about you guys? Korra? Or Calderon Aqualad? And I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Uh, this one came from me. Like I said, this is fight 13. 13 of 32. Uh, moving along pretty well, guys. Um, and uh, I'll be back uh with some more fights of course you know me guys and other than that uh i hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching section 17 of my fantasy fights entitled gender wars you guys take care and uh you know the slogan battle on